After my backup came in last week and ended up losing two games in a row, I was able to get my starting spot back, but our season is in complete shambles with the Bengals and the Ravens closing in on that top spot in the division. And to be honest, we pretty much have to win out to even have a chance to make the playoffs. Today we are going up against the Jacksonville Jaguars. They are one of the best defensive teams in the league. They have amazing cornerbacks who are really going to put a lot of pressure on Antonio Brown and Juju. And if we don't win this game, I honestly don't like our chances. So I got to go out there, be confident. I'm hoping to run the ball a lot to Ezekiel Elliott. But overall, we just got to pick up the win. Comment down below right now. Who do you guys think is better, Todd Gurley or Le'Veon Bell? That's the big question. Also, kill the like button. 2,000 likes and I will buy that custom Steelers jersey. God bless you guys and enjoy the video. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. And here we are. You guys saw in the previously on segment what has happened in the last level. It has been a hot mess, boys. They took away my spot. They took away everything from me. They made me sit two games out. And in the, that span of time, we went from being first to now being third. Every single game from here on out is a must win. We play the Jaguars, the Chargers, the Ravens, the Broncos, and the Bengals. The Broncos and the Bengals games we have to win. And literally, if we win all five of these games, we finish 11 and five, which 98% of years in the NFL, you get in with 11 and five. I have to win every single game from here on out. I'm a stud, I'm feeling good. My last game was one of my best ever. I'm gonna play smart. I'm gonna give the ball to Zeke when I need to. I'm gonna try and make the best possible decisions for this team and we're gonna go out and we're gonna set it up. God bless you guys. Let's go ahead and begin. We gotta practice first. Okay, so spacing pass concept here. We are in practice. And honestly, guys, I am low-key going crazy right now. I am so serious about winning these games. I know the Jaguars have the legit best defense in the league. They are so good. AJ Boya, they have studs every single place on that field. And I just have to do my best to hit my targets. If I play like I did last week, which I played a totally different style that I have all year. I was a lot more, not passive, but like just... I'd say I was twice as smart as I usually am. I wasn't making those dumb reads. I was really focusing on every single throw like it was my last. Uh, and I was getting Ezekiel out of the ball. We're about to go play the Jaguars. Get lit, boys. Drop a like for me if you want to give me some good luck. But oh my gosh, I'm nervous. Okay, let's go. Okay, so here we go getting the ball. I just heard the announcers talking. The Jaguars have won four out of their last five. Like, this team is hot. This team is going to be really, really tough to beat. But when I'm on and when I'm confident and when I make good throws, there is no team in this league that can beat us. We are the Steelers. We are a playoff team through and through. I have weapons at every single position to throw to. And if I can just find creative and innovative ways to get these guys the ball we are gonna be fine like here let's go double post see what we can do out of this as you can see i got okay plus four over there minus eight i like to take deep shots down the field but i also like having guys like westbrook kind of low where if i feel like i look at the look at the pressure though look at the pressure oh what the heck was that i might what the that was the weirdest thing i've ever seen i honestly i had a wide open Antonio Brown there a legit wide open a B that oh my gosh, that's frustrating. Oh My gosh, are you kidding me? You no, know, I'm sacked now nothing So in this first drive You would almost think that I was being paid by the Jags to throw this based on the way I have played these first few plays I would not be surprised if rumors circulate that I am being paid to mess this up. Luckily for me, 
My name is TD Barrett, and I throw dots. And I have a guy by the name of Antonio Brown, who if you give him some room like that, he will make you pay. Let's keep killing it. That was actually a really nice throw by me. That was a pass lead high. Okay, that's a blitz throw up behind him, just so we can get... No, that's fine. Okay, let's give Zeke the ball. Let's give him a couple rushes. Here, we're going to give it to Ezekiel Elliott on the counter. Let's go. Yo, use those blocks there. That's what I'm talking about, man. I, I need him to just be like... Usually in games, he doesn't get me anything. But now we're trying to make... We're not going to make it far in the playoffs if we don't run the ball. Like, I'm just saying it. I, I can't continue to play like I am and expect to make it very far. I need him to do that stuff. You see what he's doing right now? That is what Zeke needs to be. Where I can throw it to him in a spot where he's probably going to get tackled most time. And he can make someone miss. Okay, let's keep this up. Empty stack. Let's go the post wheel. So here I am thinking AB. We got Swaim there. Okay, let's see what we can do. 77 is going to get pushed. Yep, passing that down. Away from these corners. You got AJ, boy, there's so much talent on this team. And I know for a fact their offense, I was looking up their offensive stats. Their offense, despite being not like known for being an offensive team, has had a really, really good year this year. And Bortles seems to be kind of like becoming Blake Bortles. Nice throw! Let's go right in the middle. We're making this playoffs. I don't care anymore, guys. I am so sick that this team sat me due to what Ezekiel Elliott said that I... Sure, I hate the guy, but I understand. I, well, he wasn't getting touches. They had to give the other guy a chance. And I made a really stupid decision. Let's go, Vance. It's a first down. Okay. Six for seven. 91 yards on this drive. Got bailed out a little bit on that third and like 50 type play. Let's try and give him... Can we? Can he power OD this, do you think? If I give him... He should be able to power and give me a, like a good power out here. No. Nope. Take the three. That, that's a bad stall though. That is that is like car on the side of a road type stall. That was so bad. But our defense so far, this game, I have zero complaints. Our defense is stopping them very early and often. I'm running the formation. You might be wondering, why are you running so much five wide, TD? That's so overly aggressive. Why would you do that? Oh, no. On all man difficulty, you cannot run a lot of play actions because the pressure is so, so real. Like, watch how fast these guys get off the edge. You either have to move. Got him. Got him. Oh, that's a missed throw. Touchdown. If he hits that, it's touchdown. I'm noticing the power of a good team right now with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, I'm going to start relying a little bit more on my run game because the pass thing, they seem to be shutting me down pretty well. So I'm actually going to give Ezekiel out the ball here for a couple carries. See how he does with a little bit more action. And look at him. He is silly good. But he's also losing yards. So, what do you do with a guy who is good, but pretty much every time he touches the ball for me, he loses yards? Like, I don't know what to do with that. Okay, take, take that easy throw. Good job, Vance. 7 for 11, 96 yards. This is the drive. I would, I'm telling you guys right now, this is the drive that I have to score on if we're going to win. I think, I honestly truly believe the Jags are going to kind of figure things out in the next little bit. Nice catch, AB. Nice catch. My receivers are so good. They, they bail me out so much. Okay, this is going to take us the two-minute warning, I think. Unless we can get this playoff. Can we get this playoff? Yeah, we can. Okay. Yep. Heavy rush. That's okay. Heavy rush. That's okay. Money plays. Let's go, Zeke. Moving on up. Moving on up in the world. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's go score. Can we find a way? The best teams find a way to score in the rough situations. And this hasn't even really been a rough game. They've stopped me a few times, but I feel like I've been pretty good. Um, these linebackers aren't that great. Yeah, passing that up. Let's go. There's a hole in the zone. They blitz that linebacker. As soon as I see the blitz, the, from the second that I see that they're blitzing, that to me is an auto check, and we are scoring 10 nothing. They have yet to score. This is about to be back-to-back -back blowouts, hopefully. And like I said, in pressure situations, I play a lot more intelligent. I am not that flexible, but if I could, I would put my foot in my mouth right now. One that we should even be close to losing. Idiot. Idiot! Time out that, Jags! Chance of, uh, of scoring? I'm just gonna scramble up here. 
get the same amount of yards. Um, I'm out of bounds. We should be able to get a field goal out of this. At least. Yes, we do. Okay, that's awesome. And we get... So this game has been going really well. I managed to get us in field goal range there. Things are good, but this is the most serious game of the year. You're never going to see me more serious. You will never see me care more about anything than I care. And actually, hopefully you'll see me care more about some things. One of these runs will get advanced. Like, I just want to say advanced me to all once again in the end zone. Assuming we can get a nice little... Oh, no, 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 no. Go, go, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. The receiver that he is. And throw it to him up there. See, that That to me is not a bad read in that situation. I kind of give him a 50-50 ball. Um, pass led high so I know it won't get picked. But, like, this game has been amazing. Like, look at this. Look at this. That's 40 yards right there on that single run. Not quite 40. That was not 40 yards. But that was a lot of yards on that single run. Okay, let's look for Westbrook. If we can get the angle. It's just... These rushers are so freaking good. If you tell me that was the wrong read, I'm going to disagree with you. But I, I just think it was too big of a play for the situation. Luckily, though, I don't know what the heck is happening with the Jacksonville Jaguar offense, but they are literally terrible. So it's given me a chance this entire game. Like, I really don't have to worry about a lot because I know, like, that my defense is just... Yeah, I, I knew I was getting this. Okay, this... That's the throw of the game. That is the throw that big time young stud quarterbacks make. Those are the type of throws. I had pressure in my face. I did not have a lot of time to throw it. And I was able to time that perfectly. Know where Westbrook was going. And that's probably one of my favorite throws of the year to this date. Hit DD Westbrook. Go get in field goal range. We're fine. Gonna run the clock out now. Three timeouts they got. But assuming we kick a field goal, we're totally fine. This is another one in the wing column. Not the most exciting game in the world. I don't think anyone would say it was. But it's definitely just an effective game that I'm super happy and proud of like of how it went. I just, I think, I, I truly could not be happier with the results here. As Jacksonville was a great team. We got lucky with the fact that our defense was playing lights out the entire game. Our defense, I don't know what they were on, but they were on something. And they were just straight lights out. And their defense has left some serious gaps for me to run. They're going to use their last time out. I should, if I score here, they'll get the ball back. But I kind of want to score just because I'm selfish. And I feel like I earned kind of a big game. I don't even know if I have a touchdown pass. So... Yeah, Westbrook. West. Nice throw. There's a touchdown pass that I was talking about. That's just me being totally selfish. But it is what it is. Life's tough. Sucks to suck sometimes. CPU, if you want to win, win. We're going for two as well. We. This is this is so greasy. This going for two is greasier than uh, trying to score. Okay, I, I'm assuming they're not going to get anything going. But hopefully they run out the clock for us. Good game, Jacksonville. Good game, Jacksonville. Oh, let's go. 358, two touchdowns. I don't even want to know 10. That's got to be like that stuff. And I'm telling you guys, that stuff does not happen very often. I play decent. I had through two picks. A lot of games where I play like this, I could easily lose. But Jacksonville just totally sucked. Like bad. 10 for 32. That shouldn't even be legal. That's so bad. Fournette had a decent game. I was able to give Ezekiel Elliott at least eight carries, which I think is pretty awesome. Receiver-wise, I'm I'm good for the fact that I kind of spread it around. Juju two, A B four, four. Oh my gosh, I have the hiccups. Ezekiel Elliott three, D D four. Everyone on our team, Vance McDonald four. Everyone on our team got passes. Everyone on our team is happy. Let's go back to the main menu and see who we're dealing with next week. Back to the main menu. We're gonna advance week. We play the Chargers next week. That should be somewhat of a cakewalk. I'm not super worried about playing the San Diego Chargers. I'm sorry to any Chargers fans. It's just they don't really jump. Oh my gosh, there's eight and four. 
Oh, this does not get any easier. And oh my gosh, we have a three-way tie for first. Three-way tie for first. I got a ton of upgrades in that last game. That's going to get me to a 77 overall. Closing in on that 80 mark, I'm having a good season. So obviously, I'm going to be rewarded in that way. Dang, bro. I did not realize that that was a thing. Okay. Well, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Drop a like down below. God bless you. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.